help me. car right now and yeah i just had my first day of inductions slash tours of the art building and it was really fun and i'm really excited and i met some really nice people i feel much better much better now we're going to a, a gallery tomorrow morning and i don't know they told us to bring some drawing utensils so that should be fun too yeah i'm in my car because i just came to talk to my dad on the phone i also have some stuff in the boot still from when i moved in last week and i need to start like slowly bringing it over before i take my car back home i still need to go on a food shop i haven't done that i also don't have any cutlery as a house we don't have a drying rack so it's a state it is so messy in the kitchen there's a quiz on at the like student building today but me and my flatmates are gonna go out i really don't want to i mean i do but i also really don't i think this will be my one night out hopefully that will satiate them and I won't have to go out again. I didn't want to take you like around my induction because first of all, there's people there who I've never met before and it would be really weird to just whip out a camera. And yeah, I didn't want to be that girl who films things. Oh, I also heard back from someone about a job. But that's a good thing. And then I've planned my going home. I need to drop off this car back down in London because it's too expensive. And like, I'm not really going to use it much. I need to pay for another 24 hours of parking.
I found these one out last night to the first night of freshers at this place called Factory. It was okay, um, but we had fun, I guess. I think I got back at like 2 a.m. something, 2.30. Yeah, I went to bed at like 3, I think. But I have a gallery visit today at 10 o'clock. Oh, and it's like 7.30 now and I didn't try and wake up at this time. My body just did it. I would love to have had a bit of a lie-in, but apparently that's not allowed. This is not gonna be a regular occurrence for Coco. I don't have the stamina to do this every night, but I'm really glad that I went. It was actually really fun. <gasps> also, I still haven't finished unpacking my room, so that's gonna be a tomorrow job. Yeah, that's me for today. I've also got a date tonight with a boy that I met off Hinge. Actually, I haven't met him yet, which is like exciting. Welcome to the start of the uni vlog. <laughs> so messy so i went to the gallery and we did lots of drawing and that was really fun and then there was a afternoon session in the studios where we drew characters on paper bags and then had to like put them on our heads and get a photograph taken of us i missed the society's fair because the queue literally snaked around the building so many times and i just couldn't be bothered. I also, I just don't think I'm gonna have time to join a society and have a job and do a creative subject and possibly do a sport. I'm gonna have a shower and get ready to go and see this boy. <laughs> yeah, I think we're just gonna go and get some food or something. I don't know. Yeah, that'll be my day. I'm gonna go straight to bed afterwards because I'm so tired. I actually wanna have a productive day tomorrow.
so sick. I really don't feel well. Um, I think I caught something on the first night out. I've been doing so much today as well. Like I went for a trial shift at a cafe. I um, went to stop. Hobby craft. I've just been trying to sort out my room finally and it's almost done I think but I just feel so bad right now that I don't want to do any more So I think this is gonna have to wait another week Katie's calling me one sec Hello, Hello. you okay? Awesome. you may recognize exactly where I am. If you go back to my vlogs from around April 2021, you'll recognize this place. I'm currently at my dad's house. I'm feeling a lot better already. My throat still hurts though, so I'm gonna try not to talk too much. I saw my mum last night. I probably shouldn't have because I felt so bad. All we did was talk and it was really hard on my throat. And I also had such bad migraine, but I didn't want to come all this way and not see her. It's raining the countryside and it feels very calm which is so different to being a first year at uni <laughs> i really needed to kind of get away from that situation like it's so much fun but it's exhausting and clearly my body can't handle it i do think a lot of the reason why i feel sick is down to me being on my period i might be making this up but whenever i get my period my teeth hurt I don't know why but especially my wisdom teeth they seem to ache more and I get raging migraines and I feel sick and my cramps were really bad yeah so that on top of not having a lot of sleep just has made me feel really bad god I feel so tired just from talking but I'm gonna go to my sister's house in Brixton tomorrow and see my friends Toxic glass, right on the wall Tearing up tickets from the rock and roll show Want to remember, want to forget Wanna run away, don't wanna take a hit Lost my dog, looked for him all day I don't have a dog, I just wanted to It's time to walk 30 minutes to the train station Yay! In a puffer jacket and it's kind of warm going into Brixton to see my sister and my friends. Yeah, I don't have an umbrella, so fingers crossed it doesn't start raining. Okay.
I think I've finally finished my bedroom. It only took two weeks, so I thought I would show you the finished product. So we start at my door. This is my lovely new towel that I got from Danelle. But yeah, I have nowhere to hang it because like I can't fit a door hook up here. So I'm just using this and it's really annoying because every single time I open the door, it just falls off. So I'm gonna have to think of another idea. So from here, we move to the right and I've just done another one of those silly little collages on my walls that I always do if you look at every single other room tour I've done. This is what I do. And I thought, let's keep the mirror by the door so I can check if I look okay when I leave. To the right, and you've got my desk. And then if you go down, I've got my laundry basket. No bin. <laughs> Over here is my desk. It's actually so big. It's got drawers that what I've got in, like a sketchbook. There's more pictures of friends and family. And then up here are my shelves. I haven't really filled the top two because I just don't have enough stuff. All of my work kind of stuff. This pin board's really useful actually because this is like some assignment thing that we were set. So I can pin those things up. And this is a little plant from my friend Sophie. A little tray with all of my notebooks. And then we move over here. My friend Imka made this, which I love. And then I have a trolley. This trolley I got from Hobbycraft. There's my printer. I just think this is a really useful thing. I think I'm really lucky and I've got the view of the trees rather than like loads of people being able to see into my bedroom because on the other side of the building you just see out onto like this quad where everyone else lives so people can just see into your room all the time i don't get like the best light in here but i prefer the privacy i've got my little plant hanger and then here i've just got all my nice shoes <laughs> a little rug that's where i keep my other shoes which are so so dirty and disgusting because it doesn't matter if i just throw them there you know because they're already gross my guitar is just there because again i don't know where else to put it and this is my wardrobe and then when i open i've got this clothing hook it's actually really big jumpers little tops workout stuff and i've got underwear and sleep stuff and then in this thing i've got a mixture of trousers and jumpers and these are all of my tops oh and i forgot on this side we have the mirror which is very handy for seeing if my outfit looks okay yeah it doesn't really close properly because i've got so much in there <laughs> and then i've just got some like travel mementos and then over here is my bed this is one of those things so that i can work in bed if i really want to i've never had such dark sheets but i just saw a picture on pinterest and really liked the look of it and i think i like it it's very like wintery and then up here I've got my little cranes that my sister and I made. I just love hanging them from the ceiling because it just adds like another dimension to the room. The last bit is just my night side table. All of my vitamins because I'm sick. And then other things like paracetamol. Okay, so that is my bedroom. I'm very happy with it. I hope you like it too. It feels very me, but also a bit different. I'm going to end this video here. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you in my next one.